hello. Dark Crystal Games is back with a new Encase development update. Just three months ago, Encase celebrated its full release. Since then, we've also released two big content patches and many hotfixes. Very soon, approximately in mid-January, the third content patch will be released, which we are actively developing right now. Today, we'll talk about it. Also, just a few days ago, on December 21st, we celebrated the studio's birthday. We're turning four years old. We accept congratulations and thank you for following us all these years. The best present you can get for us is a subscription to our YouTube channel, a like to this video, and a subscription to our social networks. Links to them can be found in the description below. For Russian speakers, we have a Russian version of this development update. The link is also in the description. And now for the news. The third patch brings a lot of changes to the game, but most importantly, updated driving mechanics under the dome, two new locations, the associated adventure and equipment. In case, Fallen Fortress. During the first expeditions to explore the dome, the delivery of provisions and ammunition for explorers was the job of the most desperate and experienced pilots. Most supplies were parachuted directly into the technical opening at the top of the dome. Of course, not all supply drops could be done this way, especially for fragile and dangerous cargoes, the technology of their delivery under the dome was developed. For this purpose, they used decommissioned military cargo planes that entered the dome by a spiral trajectory and landed on a specially built landing strip. In total, six successful flights were made, and the seventh ended in a crash. In low visibility conditions and because of a navigation error, the plane landed on a mountain plateau 30 kilometers from the airfield. And because of the difficult terrain, it was considered irrational to retrieve the cargo. The plane, whose call sign was El Dorado, was left lying on a sandy plateau somewhere in the vastness of the dome. In the new adventure, you will have to investigate the appearance of anomalous activity near the crash site, and your efforts will not go unrewarded. In addition to the new adventure, we have thoroughly redesigned vehicles and encased. This touched every aspect of the system, from Ursula's balancing and new random encounters to an in-depth work on the transport system. Get a personal vehicle and explore the dome in comfort. The bottomless trunk comes in handy for transporting valuable items. Now, any car can be repaired. You will need the skill repair or a special set of tools. Or you can completely destroy it. For example, booby trap it with a time bomb. On all locations, there are special parking spaces for your vehicles, where your car will stop on arrival at your destination. If you got your car not quite legally, expect problems with the traffic police. If you steal a car, you will be given the status carjacker, which will lead to problems with the guards of law and order in the vast wasteland under the dome. We are also happy to announce that we have finished the development of gamepad support. For your convenience, we fully adapted the interface and worked out support for hotkeys. Left and right to trigger select the left and right action bar, respectively. And if you hold down the trigger for a few moments, you'll be able to select the ability you want to use with the hotkeys. It's not easy to do all the mechanics at once, but in the constant patches, we're trying to add more and more nice little things. For example, if you press A, the active search of the surrounding objects is enabled, and when controlling with a gamepad, the character will bypass small obstacles and will not cling to the corners or small stones. Additionally, we made a special interface mode for those who prefer to play on large monitors or TVs. Now, you can activate the settings and increase font and contrast. Remember the random event with the Cronus employees lost in space and time? Now, they will actually go to the faction cities you direct them to. Some will live a quiet and measured life for as long as possible under the dome, while others may become traders with an assortment of valuables or not-so-valuable equipment. Quick news regarding the Kickstarter backer rewards. We understand that we made you wait, but the fiscal rewards will be sent to the recipient soon. Be sure to update your address in your Kickstarter profile so the package doesn't get lost. We'll be duplicating this announcement on all social medias, but if you know someone who has supported our Kickstarter campaign, please pass the news along to them. We want all backers to get their rewards. We have finally settled all the issues necessary for the release of Encase on Linux. With the release of the third patch, you will be able to play on the native Linux client without emulators and additional crutches. Thanks to everyone who has been waiting for this release. Probably, at first the Linux version will have some bugs, but you can always report them to us in social networks or in Discord and we'll try to fix them as quickly as possible.
in case continues to evolve and the fourth patch is just around the corner. We're doing our best to make you, our players, happy and give you the most positive RPG experience possible. It's too bad we didn't have time to release the patch before the New Year's holidays as we originally planned, but we sincerely hope that you will have time to play and enjoy the new content of the third patch. The whole Dark Crystal Games team wishes you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. See you under the dome, employees.